Elsewhere in Melbourne, an Invasion Day rally from the Victorian Parliament has begun. Holly Edward-Smith is there. Holly, what's happening there on the ground at the moment? Well, Ash, the march has actually just started. So this Invasion Day rally or protest began at about 11 a.m. But for the past hour, the large crowds here have been listening to a number of speeches by community leaders and elders. Included in that is Green Senator Lydia Thorpe. She took to the stage a short time ago and much of her speech was met with large cheers from this growing crowd. I sit in that parliament and every day... They say that they are sovereign. The, col the colonial system and the colonizers say they are sovereign. You don't go to someone else's country and say that you're sovereign. And we deserve better than an advisory body. We have an opportunity to have a treaty that allows for, which is only through a piece of legislation, they could put 10 independent black seats in the Senate today. And we won't settle for anything less. Ash, so we're about 100 metres from the steps of the Victorian Parliament and as you can see there are a large number of people who have gathered over the past hour and the crowds do continue to grow. So this march is expected to start here from the steps of Parliament, walk through Melbourne's CBD, finishing up at Flinders Station where it's likely there will be some more speeches and discussion about a number of key issues that they're hoping to target and address as well as bring focus to. The main of those today, uh, today the theme of this year's march is prioritising treaty over voice. This is in relation to the Indigenous Voice to Parliament referendum, which is expected to take place later this year. The First Nations people here prioritising sovereignty, acknowledgement of sovereignty, but also other key issues like ending Indigenous deaths in uh, incarceration. So certainly a lot of messages today, a lot of flags, a lot of support here in Melbourne for this Invasion Day rally, which has just begun to march off the steps of Victorian Parliament.